what's going on guys welcome back to another video so today guys we're taking a look at another figure from the poxis wave the figure we're going to be taking a look at is the evil sorcerer erizak and i'm very excited to see some warlocks some evil wizardry this is pretty cool this is a figure i actually didn't pre-order myself so if i really like this figure today guys i actually might pick it up but let's not waste any more time guys let's flip the camera and take a look at this thing all right, so moving right along, we are getting your typical Mythic Legion clamshell packaging, which is collector friendly. We also have the Mythic Legion logo on the front. On the left side, we have Erzak's bio. Feel free to pause to read more. And on the back, we got more Mythic Legion lore. We can also see most of the standard figures in the wave. And on the right side, we have the faction logo, which is the Circle of Poxis. Fun fact, when he was a young wizard, he was actually a good guy, but he decided he wanted more power and decided to join the bad guys. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and get this figure open. So I took a little time and actually started playing with this figure and holy cow guys, <laughs> I'm actually a really big fan of this guy right here. So this figure is actually pretty basic. I, it does have a, let me get this out of there. It does have an elf body under here. So a 2.0 body, nothing crazy, but it is nice to have a black figure here. So if you're familiar with the legions, you pretty much know what kind of body you're getting under here. So no surprises there. And I've actually seen some people put some thin Marvel legends under it. So if you want to utilize this body and if you have some extra Marvel legend bodies, it actually works under here. So other than that, you know what guys, the soft goods, I really do like it. Nothing Nothing too crazy there is a little bit of a wire here so it's pretty simple just black and purple and even with this little tabard not a lot of detail as far as the figure goes itself it is kind of basic but honestly guys I feel like there's a lot of versatility here because when you add all the parts together and if you can get the soft goods to flow just right this figure actually kind of pops as far as articulation goes again this is a 2.0 body so uh, we do have a ball joint over here with the soft goods you can do a t-pose and just so you can see the arms right here you can do an elbow bend there is a bit of a twist right here and some wrist action as far as the torso goes there is a joint over here so you can get a little bit of twist up here same over here this is usually yep just on a peg nothing crazy with the legs you do have a hinge and you do have twisted thigh knee bend and rocker ankle what really stands out to me really guys is this staff so taking a look at some of the accessories guys there's actually a good amount over here so we have different variety of hands we do have some new stuff here we do have some bone accessories potions as well we have some of these lightning effects and the staff which is really awesome and really nice i do whoops i do like this staff a lot we have his shoulder pieces well i guess we do have one big shoulder piece which looks really good it does have this hood as well which it does have a nice little wire in it so you can move this around and his alternative head is just him yelling which is an expression that i like a lot I'm just playing with like the soft goods and the posing guys you can do a lot here so like i said there's a bit of a wire here so you can have this floating around we can have him pointing because we do have a good variety of hands which i really do like and we have his shoulder pieces here this one's a little loose but you can play around with it but yeah guys i think this honestly is such a solid figure so there isn't really much else to say about it besides you know if you're a fan of like the warlocks the the evil wizards the the sorcerers and all that this is definitely a must pick up so this is a rather quick review because there's not a ton to look at here i will show some comparisons real quick and then we're gonna do some posing at the end for you guys so i've actually heard complaints about this belt if you've experienced the uh figura obscura santa claus it's pretty much the exact same belt with these figures it is a little tough to get this on you know with a little bit of finagling it's actually not not too bad moving right along to my first batch of comparisons i wanted to show off all the purple hooded figures that i have so far so we got valak on the left and we got swig to the right so we can see that there's a different variety and different shades of purple here so i think it matches pretty well with these figures 
figures if you want to line them up, so I think this looks pretty good. A couple of more comparisons to some evil caster wizardry stuff here. <laughs> we got Torion to the left and Azar to the right. I think this warlock is going to fit really well with the demons and the evil casters. This is such a cool addition. So let me know what you guys think about this figure. So we're going to go ahead and do some posing. But if anything, guys, I'll see you guys on the next review. Thanks for watching.